Hello everybody, a uh, very warm welcome to all of you. I've got with me over here uh, Mr. Ross Dorman. He's a delightful 56-year-old uh, gentleman who has known me now for over two to three years. Ross, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions with, with regards to your journey so far. I remember when I met Ross probably a couple of years ago, uh, you were uh, you were going through a lot of issues from a medical perspective. Share with us what was the situation at that stage. My life had a lot of stress in it and I was probably floating around the 150 kilo mark and my type 2 diabetes was out of control. My blood sugars were between 11, 15 to 20s in the 20s. I ended up going on to 36 injections of insulin a week. Right. So five a day and then one extra large one yes. um, by Duran, I think it was, on, a, on one day a week as well. Yes. And my tablets would have been between 60 to 100 tablets a week mixed between cholesterol, blood sugars, blood pressure, everything. You know? Really? So, that's, a, that's a big uh, sort of dollar amount, I would say, for 60 to 100 dollars, 100 tablets a week. A lot. Right, right. And Ross, I believe you were also very tired generally. You didn't have that drive when I met you initially prior to surgery. Uh, you, were, you were experiencing a lot of, you know, lack of initiative, if I can use that word. Very tired, very run down. Um, I was w working very hard, but then going up and down stairs in my office was wearing me out. So mm -hmm. basically stay put, probably be eating, eating more than obviously that I was exercising. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, and starting to feel at a very horrid point in my life. Right. So the decision to commit to weight loss surgery, which you had in March of 2017 this year, must have been a difficult one. Or do you think it was like the only option that was left for you? How did, how did that come about? The, the decision to make uh, go ahead with surgery? Well, I think after speaking with you, the endocrinologist, I think that there wasn't, a, there wasn't too many choices in my life. Mm. It was either probably live another six to 12 months, mm. and uh, maybe that might have been the end of that, or, or stand up and, and take notice of the people around me that were giving me this advice like yourself. Mm. And mm. That really forced my hand. It wasn't something that I was looking forward to doing as far as taking away parts of my life that I enjoyed. Sure. Like enjoying food. Not that I don't believe that I ever ate, but my mm. body wasn't working. Okay. So, so Ross, uh, on 26th of March, you committed to surgery and you had the robotic laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy. How has life been since then? Just prior to getting ready for the surgery, I was about a, myself on my scales was nearly 153 kilos. Mm. I think I started the surgery at about 142 to 144 kilos. I probably didn't prepare mm. enough. Mm. And since that date to, to this morning, when I got up this morning, I weighed myself around the 114 to 115 kilo. Mm. Mm. So as far as energy goes, I walk every day, basically walk every day. Um, people that come into my office at work can't believe how much energy I've got. Mm. I'm actually up and down the stairs, out in the factory. I'm actually even helping the guys pack up stuff, carry cartons around. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and they think that my mindset has actually growing another level. Right, great. And especially with regards to your diabetes, how is it now? Like how many medications are you taking for diabetes? Taking none. No medication. No anymore. medication at all for diabetes. Right. right, right, right. Okay. And are you following up with your endocrinologist? I'm presuming you are. I see my endocrinologist every appointment. I have okay. an appointment next week. I've right. got an eye doctor, uh, a diabetes foot coordinator doctor, a good a general general doctor good and yourself and good. I also see a dietitian every month excellent so you feel Ross have you have you got all the support mechanisms in place to help you achieve your goal and can I ask you what is your goal my goal is to get to 92 kilos right and to look in that mirror at 92 kilos and feel very special about myself you know being myself because um, I remember I used to play squash division one squash at about 120 seven kilos okay so i'm already nearly probably two stone under that weight that, and yeah. 
and I have got a little bit of a twinkle. If my knees can handle it, I'm actually looking forward to getting on that squash court squash again, court again uh, when, I, when I get into those um, <laughs> double digit figures. <laughs> that squash racket is looking forward to getting in your hands again, I think. Yes. Ross, all the best. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your help. Pleasure.